Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Marvish Cuisine. There is something deliciously decadent about a sandwich so big it needs a toothpick to hold it together. Full of vegetables and protein, this club sandwich by recipe is a meal in itself. They are also super easy and quick to make, perfect for family night. Let's go and see what we need for this recipe. So I divided this recipe in two parts. First we marinate and cook chicken and make a chicken batter and then we come on assembling and make our final club sandwiches. So for chicken we have some boneless chicken pieces. You can use whole chicken as well. And then for seasoning I have salt, mustard powder and black pepper powder. I have some ginger and garlic paste, some vinegar, I'll be adding some ketchup and then I have some soy sauce. So these are all the ingredients which I'll be using to marinate and cook my chicken. Then for making it a, a club sandwich, I'll be using some fried egg. And then I have some lettuce. I'll be using tomatoes. You can have cucumbers or all the other vegetables. And then I add some cheese slices. I'll be using pepper jack. You can use any cheese and white bread slices. So these are all the ingredients, let's go and make it happen. So first we marinate chicken with ginger and garlic paste, then add our seasoning, salt, black pepper, mustard powder, vinegar, soy sauce and ketchup. Mix, mix, mix and mix until all the seasoning is completely combined with your chicken. Then keep it on the side and let it marinate for 15 to 20 minutes. You can do more or less. Then heat a medium sized saucepan and add all your marinated chicken. Then cover and let chicken release all its water and then cook this mixture completely until all water dries and you can start mashing with the help of your spoon so you have uh, smaller pieces or you can uh, blend or shred the chicken later. So after all the water dries your chicken mixture is ready. Now toast your bread slices. You can do it in a toaster or in the oven but I uh, thought to do it on a grill pan to give it a cool restaurant style marks on my bread slices so that's completely optional so i just toasted my bread slices from both sides and then keep it on the side now for the egg part some people serve boiled eggs or like an omelet style egg but my family love like complete whole egg with the yolk in the middle of course it should be completely cooked so i just heated my fry pan add a teaspoon of oil and let my egg cook completely from one side then I flip it over and let it cook from the other side and just to make sure that my yolk is not dripping, it's completely cooked. I just pressed for like uh, one or two times very lightly so if there's a runny yolk in the middle, it just drip down, comes out and then it cooked completely as well. So when your egg is completely cooked through, just take it out and keep that on the side as well. Everything is ready for my sandwich. Tomatoes are sliced. I'll be using some mayo as well. I forgot to mention at the start. Eggs are ready. Chicken mixture is ready too. So let's go and make our club sandwiches. So first take one bread slice and start spreading your mayo. You can use butter as well but I prefer to use mayo. It will work as an adhesive for our chicken and other mixture to stay on its place and it tastes a little better than butter. Then take a spoonful of cooked chicken mixture and spread on your bread slice. Little more or maybe less, it totally depends on your preference. Then lay some lettuce leaf on top of it. You can use romaine or iceberg or whatever lettuce you prefer. Then take other bread slice, uh, spread mayo on one side of the bread and just uh, cover the chicken and lettuce mixture with the mayo side down so the mayo is at the bottom of that bread slice and then again spread the mayo on top of this bread slice then top it off with your fried egg a slice of cheese and sliced tomatoes you can add any other vegetable if you want then take another piece of toasted bread slice, uh, spread some mayo and invert on top of it. Give it a little smoosh to combine it all together and then using a very sharp knife, 
cut your sandwich into triangles you can use a um, toothpick to hold your sandwiches you can use those fancy long picks with the frilly color on the ends but uh, i use the regular one the idea is just to get the layer of the ingredient to hold together somehow What a delicious mouthful. You can never get bored of the good old sandwich. There's just so much room for creativity and surprise. You can layer on thinly sliced cucumber, onions, use your imagination and create your own club sandwich. The variation in club sandwiches are as many as the cooks, but this recipe I am posting here makes a wonderful desi style club sandwich which we love to buy from restaurants. So why not make it at home today? If you like this recipe and make it at home, please don't forget to take a picture or and tag me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. If you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I try to make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check my previous videos.